Good morning. Good morning. It's Saturday. Day five. Five. There's five. It's pretty. Five. Today's day five of training. And um, we have our first test today. Yay! We got to get a 90 or above to pass. If not, we do a retake, I guess, on Monday because we're off tomorrow. Um, but we're going to pass. You know, we ain't really worried. But it is 7.06 right now. The shuttle is going to be leaving the facilities at 7.30 to get to class for 8 o'clock. And I'm hungry because I haven't ate since yesterday at like 6. So... Time to go eat. We just took the test. I passed. I did too. You want to tell the camera the vlog if you pass the test, Ty? You want to tell the vlog if you pass the test? You want to be on YouTube? Yeah. Hi, guys. Did you pass? Hello, YouTubers. I did pass. <laughs> <laughs> We're all good here. We're all good. Four more to go. Everybody is talking if they pass. There's more people. We're there. They're down there somewhere. So the A class had to take a um, a written test concerned about their computers so wasn't working or something. The hours were just on the computer. So. <laughs> Ken, did you pass? Did you pass? Oh, you don't know. But you you passed. <laughs> Ken passed. He has 17, 16 years of experience. He passed. Okay. Alright, we passed. Bye. So I passed the test and we just did be a transfer. So now I just have to wait, y'all. Wait until they approve it. Hopefully I can be down face by September, October, November. Before 2020 gets here. Maybe earlier. Before I go live with Sydney. <laughs> Good morning. It is Sunday morning. It is our first official day off. Uh, I don't know. Day day six. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just got back from eating breakfast downstairs. I woke up at like five something like normal and I lay here for a little while, caught up on some TV shows. When it had breakfast because I got hungry. Now I have the ice again. But I realized that I didn't really update y'all yesterday on what we did. But before I do that, I finally got my life together. Let me show y'all what I did. So, I finally cleared up this whole area, all those bags. So, I just have my hamper, the little drawer I bought cleaned up kind of the desk area just all my little gadgets and I'm not taking over the space Brittany doesn't use any of this <laughs> Brittany has all her stuff over there and then I went and bought more hangers so now all my clothes are hanging in the closet I put my suitcases up so at least now I um I can live, oh yeah, in the bathroom too. I bought the little organizational bins to kind of throw things in there. Just really needed these so I could see my stuff. Like, it was so hard trying to find everything quickly in the morning in the bag. So, I just got these little containers to kind of be able to have better visuals. Brittany stuff. <laughs> Good morning. So, <sighs> Yesterday, after we took the test, we just had a four-hour class. So, each little, I don't lesson, I guess, that, you, that we learn, they call it a class. So, sometimes we have three, four, five different lessons in the day. But yesterday, the class or lesson that we were doing was a four hour long lesson of PowerPoints and them reading from the curriculum. Um, and it was just mostly about um, learning to communicate well with your other crew members, especially in the case of emergencies. Um, and we watched a lot of videos about 
plane crashes and things like that and you know what the flight attendants did good and what they feel like they could have done better and so it was four hours of that yesterday um and then um we kind of touched on like um the beginning stages of learning planned and unplanned evacuations um, and it's still very much all very similar to what I'm used to, you know, just learning their steps, which is pretty much the same steps. Just really, it's just more of like a verbiage change and adding those steps to these aircrafts that they fly is what it is for me. So, um, then we went over uniform. I think tomorrow, Monday, we actually will order our uniform. So we'll have on, you know, our try on sessions and order the pieces that we want or whatever um so yeah that was that was pretty much it for the day but you know those classes where you're watching those videos of these plane crashes and they're you know they're playing the real recordings of the um pilots talking to air traffic control and all these things you know it's, it's heavy to watch it really really is because you know people die and things like that so it's just one of those classes that kind of just um what's the best way to put it I guess bring the realization of what this job really is because of course you know for the first d few days you're just kind of talking about the responsibilities and service and things like that now we're getting to the nitty-gritty of what the job really really is and that's a safety job so yeah it was it was interesting these videos I mean they do they they do the same thing at every flight attendant training you're gonna watch these videos at every single flight attendant training but these videos I didn't see before, so it's always different videos, and it's interesting to see. It really, really is. I mean, it's, it's sad to hear about people dying, but it's very interesting to see what people do and how they do it, and, you know, when you're actually in the moment, if it's planned or unplanned. And yes, an accident or, you know, evacuation can be planned. You know, if pilots know in advance that something is going wrong with the plane, then they can set us up for hopefully for hopefully a successful evacuation. Sometimes there's no time for that. But anyways, it was getting too deep. Um, yeah, that was really it. Then we, I, after we got back from class, I went and got my nails and toes done because they were looking funky. And um, here at, uh, what I am realizing um, with the regional airlines because once again if you haven't watched well this I don't know how I'm gonna edit this but um I am training for a regional airline and you always kind of hear different things about regionals or sometimes they're stricter and sometimes it's, they're this and they're that and <sighs> whatever but yeah they definitely are a little bit stricter when it comes to certain things but with the regional airline you know they are their flying and their company depends on the contracts that they have with the bigger airline that they're flying for. So whether that's United, Delta, American, or Alaska, um, the regional airlines are all um, fighting against the other regional, or not fighting, they're all competing with the other regional airlines to stay in contract with the mainline airline and you know get the more flying time and the better routes and this and this and this so with that being the main goal it is very important for the regional airlines to hold their crew members to a very very high standard not that you're not going to get held to a very very high standard at a mainline airline or a JetBlue, a Southwest, a Spirit, a Frontier, you know, airlines like that, that aren't, um, that are major airlines. But the regionals just kind of have it a little bit tougher because if they're not performing well in whatever aspect of performance, then that main line can say, okay, well, y'all aren't doing the job well enough, so we're just going to give um, your routes and your, you know, we're just going to give all your flying to this other airline. We're going to cut ties with you, basically. 
So that's what I'm realizing with regional debt. There's a reason why they're so nitty gritty and you know you really have to stay on top of things so anyways with that being said i just wanted to make sure that you know i was looking good you know no chip polish no looking rough you know i don't wear makeup every day they do suggest that you know you put on a little blush and you know mascara and a lip but training that's just <laughs> it takes effort you know so i do keep a nice little lip balm on my lips um, but that's really it. But I'm not an ugly girl, so I am not just going to be looking busted. Like, right now, I'm makeup free, and I still think I'm pretty cute. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyways, that's really it today. I'm just going to seriously relax. There's a lot of people here that um, have kind of left for the day. And there's one girl that just was, I was just eating breakfast with, and... Her boyfriend is in Wichita Falls right now or something. She said, Wichita Falls? That doesn't sound right. But anyway, he's two hours away. That might be right. He's two hours away, and she's about to go get a rental car and drive to him for the day. A few people have had their friends fly in for the day, come see them. Me, I'm just like, I'm just going to lay in the bed. <laughs> it's not, I mean... I'm okay. I'm not homesick. I'm not nothing. I am happy and comfortable just to have the day off and relax and just not even think about studying. Did I tell you I passed the test yesterday? I got a 98. <laughs> got one silly question wrong. Only one person got a 100 and that was Kent. Oh, I did, I did tell y'all because Kent was in the little video clip that I showed when we were doing the, um, right after we took the test. He came from um, another regional airline that, like I was just explaining, you know, lost contracts. So that means, you know, they they were, I don't know if they fired flight tests. I don't know what they did. But basically, the regional he came from lost the contract, so they didn't have as much flying. So that means they need less flight attendants. So he was with them for like 16 years, I think he said. So now he's over here. He's the only one that got 100. Everybody else got like... I think three people might have failed the test, which failing is, an, um, well, passing is a 90 or above. So if you get 89 and below, you have to do the retake tomorrow. And I think it's three people that didn't pass, I think. Two for sure, I know. I think it may be one or two more people that don't want to say, and that's, that's, that's their prerogative. You ain't got to tell me a thing, child. So, yeah, that's it. Me and this iPad are about to um, have a good little movie day. See y'all tomorrow. Good morning. Welcome to week two. 7.48. We're all in class. Waiting for class to start at 8 a.m. <sighs> we got some computer work to do and uniform try-ons and fun things of that sort. So, that's Yo, cool. me and Britt are already in bed. Like, we, lights out. And I see a little light peeking through the curtain. Cause the light, the sun hasn't even set yet, and we are in bed. It's 8:35. We have class in the morning at 6 a.m. tomorrow, which means the shuttle will pick us up at 5:30, which means we have to be up somewhere between 4 and 4:45. Just depending on how fast we move. Um. But so, but we can take a little less time because there's no breakfast tomorrow morning that early, so we don't have to count time to scarf down our little 10 minutes of eggs and bacon. But today, recap so, real quick, because I really am sleep. I took my melatonin like an hour ago. Um, what did we do today? We did CBTs, we did um, fittings, <sighs> fittings. So I just want to put it out there that I really felt body shamed and I'm not a person that's ashamed of my body by any means. But just the way they it, it was, was just, it wasn't a pleasant experience. But the day started off, 8.30, we got to class. Why did, 8, 8 to 12.30, yeah. 8 to 12.30 was time allotted for us to do our computer-based training and be doing our uniform fittings during that 
Yes, CBT, computer race training. <laughs> It's okay. We've been learning a lot. A lot of abbreviations. That one's really not important. But, so, and I keep telling you, I'm really, really trying not to compare this experience to my previous experience because it really doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter at all. But, you know, last time I was really excited to uniform day, and today it was just like they put you on display in front of a whole bunch of people and say yes that look good no that don't look good you need to get a bigger size blah, blah 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 and it just wasn't it just didn't feel good so whatever that's neither here nor there it was just and i'm not the only one that felt like that you know like a couple of people felt that way even a few guys you know like it just felt like body shaming and not because they're making you go up in bigger sizes like if something just don't fit like a number printed on a tag is one thing but just the way that you express that it doesn't look good on you or maybe you should get a bigger size or whatever. Like, I'm top heavy, I'm busty, it is what it is. You making me go up to a size 18 shirt when the 12 fits just fine is not very pleasing to me. But, you know, it's neither here nor there. Um, so we got the uniform. <sighs> we do have to pay for portion of the uniform 50% of it of whatever what all we order and this regional airline is um, they have a union they have a contract so with per the contract they have to we have to purchase certain required items so I have to buy a roller board and a flight tote bag that um, I already have the exact same thing at home. So if anybody wants to buy it off of me, I'll give you a really good deal. It's a 22 inch Travel Pro um, roller board and the I believe it's the, the deluxe tote bag. Um, I'll show it to y'all later. If you want it, send me an email, whatever, comment, let me know. It's not gonna be for free because I wanna get my coin back, but I will give it to you at a discounted rate, okay? Um, and then after that, we did another four hour class today. Um, what was the class? C oh, oh the, about um, the, about the, the, the plane, CRJ. the CRJ. Mm -hmm. So now, the first um, aircraft that we're learning is the CRJ seven hundred, and we only have they say less than ten of them left. So they're phasing those planes out of this airline, and they're buying new, um, more ERJs one seventy fives. So I guess as we get one more ERJ, they release another CRJ. So we still have to train on it because I don't. I, I'm pretty sure I told y'all we're going to Chicago. <laughs> going to Chicago, and Chicago is the only base that has those little stinking CRJs left. So we have to learn to train on it, even though they'll probably all be phased out before the end of the year. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're learning this week. So, tomorrow we have to be there at 6 a.m. And we're going to get on the aircraft and start learning evacuations, practicing them, and all of that stuff. Um, we lost our first person today. I do like to kind of update y'all on how many people actually make it through training, whether it's... She didn't leave because she fell out. She left for personal reasons. Um, but it's still sad to, to see people go. You know, like, it just sucks. So, we're down to 45 people. We started with 46. Um, it was four people. Four people that failed the test. Mm hmm So, we took our test on Saturday. Four people um, failed. They all did the retake today, and they all passed. So, good for them. You know, hopefully they keep up the good work moving forward. Don't fail anymore. Um, but I honestly feel like the tests are just going to get a little more complicated and harder. The things that you have to know are a little bit more confusing because you have to separate them based on aircraft and things like that. So, anyways, the sun is beginning to set for real, for real now. Yeah, so me and Brittany are going to bed. We will see you at 5 a.m. in the morning. Bye! Ugh.